process i was determined to succeed i was determined to make it today my mother my parents are both alive they are they are aged but today as i speak to you people come to knock the family house and my mother would this happens almost daily and they said who is this are you apostle's mother yes thank you for giving birth to him please open your gate we have a gift for you where are you coming from it does not matter mama open the gate i told my mother her assignment was to give birth to me and since she gave birth to me her assignment is done my mother would call me crying on phone and say what is this i say but you paid the price when i was crying you told me to come to pass this is it if my mother coughs today i will buy her a pharmacy not a drug pharmacy let me tell you this please hear me hear me there were times when i came to some of the campgrounds in your area here as nobody quietly smuggled myself and came to cry and pray rejoice not over me my enemies please hear me rejoice not over me my enemies the people you admire today are the ones that will call you sir tomorrow just be patient it's the law of process hallelujah there was a year in my life i was happy to go and buy a car i said at least now let me be able to get a car that i will be happy i think that was 2000 and um, was it 2000 and, and was it 2 or 12 i can't remember which one now to get a car i negotiated a nice car with my money i wanted to buy and god asked me and said son what are you doing here I said, God, I've, I've saved some money. I want to buy a car. And he said, leave this place now. I am, I am able to give you a car. I went back and I said, God, what is all this one now? You mean I can't drive a good car because you called me? It was process. 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 If I have to buy a car today, it's a choice. Because he has been more than faithful more than faithful there's no point talking about some of these things but it is true is god speaking to you i came to inspire you we are going to pray this is my last session with you and i want you to receive something that will turn your life around if you can pay the price and tell yourself no matter what i will go through i will not give up then there is no power in existence that can stop you let me tell you this a particular bank in this nation i will not mention the name but something happened to me when internet banking came to nigeria one sunday afternoon i was just smiling giving god glory for helping me and i started getting debit alert debit alert debit alert debit alert debit alert debit alert it was unusual until all that was left in my account was like 1000 and something millions of naira vanished within a moment i said what is going on here true story i called my account officer and he said well what is this i slotted my own atm put my um, what they call it password it rejected put it the second time rejected put it the third time and it just swallowed the card on sunday millions of naira of my life savings and everything had disappeared god where were you lord i have grace to see why didn't you show me this everybody shout process by the next day i went to the bank and the manager of the bank true story the manager of the bank was confused he said i would they would have to arrest everybody close to me to take them 
um, um, you know how they do it to the police station and then have them write statements I said my people love me why would they steal from me he said no that's not the issue we have to do that I was seated it was a meeting my account officer was here shaking the manager was there when the Lord spoke to me again and said my son what are you doing here I said Lord I'm claiming I mean this is this is my money here and then the Lord told me is it your money or my money I said truly is yours and he said stand up and walk out of that place that was it right there right when I tell you I've given God everything it's not a joke it's not a song it's not a sermon you will sing take everything God will test it until everything truly leaves him I decided to I don't share so much of my personal stories I don't but I decided to help you because I want to really inspire you most great men will not tell you so much is the reason why when you dishonor a great man you are judged for it because there is blood on the altar a representation of pain right there I got up and I shook the manager I shook my account officer I said I'm sorry no, I said, no, no, no. Our reputation, I said, listen, it is my money and I can choose to do whatever. I've canceled this case. It is over. I left and I was walking like a madman. I said, thank God I'm not married. What in the world do you tell your wife after this kind of thing? Your wife will say, I knew I made a mistake marrying a stupid man like you. Now, listen very carefully. When I made that sacrifice, hear me, I went back home and the Lord told me, he said, because you could do this to me, you will never beg, never, never beg. Not you, not your children, not your children's children. See, covenants come through sacrifice. Hear what I tell you. There are covenants that people have made that were not intentional. Their sacrifice was too great. It became a covenant. Gather unto me my saying, Psalm 50 verse 5. They that have made a covenant with me by sacrifice. Yesterday when I was in Papa Ia Deboe's prayer room and I had the opportunity to pray there alone, I looked at the prayer room and I said a man's sacrifice made God to vow that if you call upon me here you will answer when I lay down and I was praying I said Lord this great general and father of faith and then all that I was seeing was sacrifice sacrifice when I entered into this campground and I was looking around I was not seeing buildings I was seeing sacrifice you will never be great if convenience is what drives you. If you eat tomorrow's food today, you will die of hunger tomorrow. If you wear tomorrow's cloth today, you will walk naked tomorrow. Let me tell you, your pain and your weeping may endure for a night. But I bring you a word of hope. Joy comes with.